Hey guys, welcome. Mike Lover Actual here. I wanted to give you a small tour of my small gun room. Um, a lot of people have asked um, uh, on Patreon, which is uh, patreon.com forward slash Mike Glover. Hey, can you show us more of your gun room and the things that you have set up? I, I think it's important to have a gun room because it's similar to a kit or staging area that you would see overseas, but it's also what a lot of guys are doing already. I just want to go over the way I do it because it might benefit you. And if you don't have one, you don't need a lot of space to accomplish that. So one of the things I did was I opted for hold up displays because they use aluminum um, mounting material in order to mount all this stuff with a, a line of accessories that allow you to hook rifles, hook pistols, hook all your accessories, hook helmets, ballistic and non-ballistic. That's cool because it saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort by just adapting a hold up displays. Now, what I use this room primarily for is keeping my guns away from my kids. So I have a locked door in, uh, in front of my gun room. Uh, you don't need a lot of space to do that though. This is a closet. It, it's, it might seem big because of, of uh, my position in it, but it's very small. I mean, I could nearly touch the walls together. So when you have a closet, when you have a man room, if, if your spouse gives you one, uh, whatever that is, you can make use of that room by displaying things a certain way. Now, I use my room to stage out of because if I come down and I collect all the stuff that I need, I want to have it organized for law enforcement training, for civilian training, for my own training, for hunting, for whatever I'm doing. I want to be able to come down, get all the stuff that I need loaded into my bag and then bug out. So here's what I did. I put pistols in one section rifles here these are primarily the rifles that are used for hunting and also all the extra guns here right i got a myriad of extra guns bcms got an fn heavy scar i got uh H hks different stuff not a lot of stuff uh, in fact I've, I've actually like sold off a lot of the stuff that i don't need because i've found that a lot of the stuff that i have i never use and i'm not a, i'm a collector of western guns but I'm not a collector of just gun guns. I, I use everything that I have. Uh, 300 Win Mag, it's got a surgeon action and a proof barrel. That's an elk gun. I mean, that's a gun that I use for hunting. Uh, my 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, which is somewhere around here. I don't even know where my 6.5 Creedmoor is at. Um, where is my 6.5 Creedmoor? Oh, 6.5 Creedmoor over here. Um, my Sig Cross 6.5 Creedmoor, use it for hunting. So it's things that I could take off the shelf. So when I, when I come here, I use this workbench to work on guns, but most importantly, to kind of like load off of. Uh, if you were ever in the military, you had a kit room, and then you had a kit section or a kit cubby. That's where you stage all your stuff. Now I've staged a couple things, like my hunting gear. This is my uh, hunting harness with fresh blood. I need to clean that off. Um, my tier tactical plate carrier. That's stuff that's readily accessible. But I don't really need a kit room to throw kit on. I just need it to be organized. So if I come here, uh, just to show you how I did it, I use plastic bins from like Home Depot. Um, I organize all the things on the top shelf for most likely to use versus the bottom. It's like carbine. I got all my mags preloaded for the most part, um, all the way down to magazines that I don't really use. Uh, got Meridian Defense AK-47 mags have to have the AK, have to have a Meridian Defense, but I have the mags at a lower priority than the 5.56 mags that I use often. Uh, on this side, I have pistol mags, it's mostly SIG and Glock pistol mags that I use, and then I have a bin full of knives, because I got like a million knives, uh, everything from uh, Montana Knife Company, I got Benchmade knives, a whole bunch of knives down here that I use for different reasons. Like if I'm gonna come down here and I have a knife for my kit, this is the MT Strider. Um, this is the kit or the knife that I wore on my kit for most of my deployments. It's just cool to have. I'm not really using it uh, anytime. But I can come down here and pick up um, a Benchmade folder and put it in my pocket because I'm going on a trip. Um, I I'm using it in everyday carry uh, or I might be using it for hunting. When I come over here, these bins are priorities for accessories, like small things. Plus I use them to top load all of my magazines. So if I come back from a trip, all my magazines are typically empty. I'll load them up and stage them. So when I have to load out for training, I can just grab loaded mags off the shelf. 
Um, I got spare ex uh, accessories like batteries, spare lights. Like I have, uh, man, this is a nice light. I don't know why that's down here. XVL2 from Surefire. That's uh, infrared and vis laser uh, capable. Have those down here because if I'm teaching a, teaching a night class, I'll change kind of my setup for my particular guns. Uh, one thing you should always have is the ability to do some gunsmithing. You don't have to be a gunsmith in order to smith on guns. I don't even know that's a thing. But gunsmithing is working on your guns. And most people from YouTube videos can do spring kits and all the basic stuff. So I have all the tools and accessories to be able to accomplish that. In fact, I have a toolbox that's under here, this yellow toolbox that says Mike, Mike's Tools. But that was the same toolbox I used when I was a Special Forces weapons sergeant and worked on uh, guns all the time. So I use those tools, and in fact, here I already have it set up because I'm uh, pre-staging it to get to it. I'm installing a Max Michelle Competition Spring Kit for a Sig Sauer P320, which is the Sig 320 Max. Now the Max is Max Michelle's pistol from Sig. Comes with a Romeo 3 uh, Max optic, which is wild, uh, wide in its field of view. Does not have any sights, front or rear, that is used for carry optics competition in USPSA. Really cool setup. Uh, I'll put that spring kit on here and uh, get to that when I have some time. Um, up here, I have a lot of accessories, just randomized stuff. I'm kind of um, putting everything together, but I have my ballistic helmet that I use for night vision training, PBS 31s, a non-ballistic helmet. I got my free fall helmet here as well. Some shirt, uh, some cans. I got like a, a, a CGS can here and I got a SIG can. Um, and then I have staged ammo that I would usually load out of. Now I won't show you my ammo supply point uh, because that's classified, but I do have a stockpile of ammunition that I keep separate from the bulk of the guns. Guys, when you're building out your kit room, it needs to work for you. I just wanted to give you a couple of techniques, tactics, some of the things that I do for me that work for me. Um, is that a thing for me that works for me? Um, let me show, oh, like I have a drawer for spare parts and a little bit of tools. Like. Uh, this is a, a Glock that I'm working on. Some BCGs from uh, uh, BCM. BCGs from BCM. Uh, Bravo Company Manufacturing, my favorite carbine company. Optics. I keep all my optics in here. Top drawer, whether it's optics I'm going to put on guns or optics that are spare. Some uh, spare LA5s for infrared. I know everybody's like, you still use LA5s? Yeah, I can't afford all the other stuff. That's so expensive. Um, got a drawer full of uh, different accessories and stuff. Um, cool. Well, I think that's it. Guys, this is my gun room. It's nothing fancy, nothing huge, nothing significant. I'm not like, you know, I don't put a bar in my gun room. Like, I don't use this as a social space to bring people over. I don't have sex. The lights that you see in here are for filming. I have like one light bulb that barely, look at that right there. That's probably going to start a fire. Um, but this is for my personal space. I don't use it as a, a space to bring people to. This, this works for me. Make it work for you. The bottom line. All the stuff I talked about that I mentioned, I'll, I'll try to establish the link below to save you some time. I, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Mike Glover Actual. Subscribe, hit the notification tab, and also follow Phil Craft Survival. Got a lot of good content, a lot of stuff rolling out. Uh, just want to say thank you and uh, hope you have a good day. Good day, mates.